meg, hogy minnyájukat láttam itt. I'll turn to the English first, and then I'll continue with the Hungarian. Actually, what I have written was not written for this occasion, so you'll have to forgive me if at times you'll think I'm lying, especially on a day like today. In the late 1920s and 1930s, there was quite a wave of Hungarian immigrants from Hungary and Transylvania to this promised land, Canada, to start a new life. In most cases, they spoke only Hungarian, and thus, in 1926, Reverend Michael Fehér, along with the other people, formed this church, the Hungarian United Church. The years passed, they worked very hard, they sacrificed, and finally, in May 1955, their dream was realized at the dedication of this beautiful church. The years continued to pass quickly. On Sundays, the pews were filled with thankful, happy worshipers, as they are today. Now they have grown old and frail, and many have gone to their eternal rest. But they have left us this beautiful legacy, this church, and our Hungarian heritage to preserve and pass on to the next generation. We say thank you, and we shall remember to keep their memory sacred. We also wish to express our gratitude to all those who come to Sunday services and support our other endeavors. But today, but not like today, as in many other churches, we have fallen on hard times. Our pews and our coffers are empty. Therefore, we implore you to come and pray with us as you're doing this morning and sing joyful songs and support us. Our hearts and our consciences will not let us disappoint those blessed souls who have gone before because if we do, we will lose our legacy, this church, and our Hungarian heritage. So please, please, if you can see your way clear, come again because it's so wonderful to see you here today. Isten hozott haza. A szívem tele van boldogsága, hogy ennyi sokat látok itten, mert sajnos szűkjó körünk nagy mértékben, majdnem minden vasárnap. A 1920-as és 1930-as években sok magyar érkezett Montréalba, Magyarországról és Eldéből új életet kezdeni. Nagyon, de nagyon nehéz volt az élet. Nagy volt itt a világ és legtöbben csak magyarul beszéltek. És így 1926-ban nagy tiszteletű Fehér Mihályjal megalakult a Montréali első magyar református egyház. Az évek teltek, és végre sok ima, nehéz munka és feláldozás után megvalósult az álmok, amikor május 1955-ben megünnepelték, a tem- ennek a templomnak a felszentelését. Az idők tovább is gyorsan teltek. Vasárnapokon telve voltak a padok, imádkozó boldog emberekkel. De azóta azok az áldott lelkek megöregedtek, vagy már eltávoztak az örök hazában. Hálás köszönettel tartozunk nekiek, és az emberek legyen örök, az ő emlékük legyen örökké áldott. A templomunk az ő hagyatékunk a mi részünkre, megőrizni és továbbadni a következő generációknak. Hálás köszönet mind azoknak, akik itt vannak és évről évre velünk imádkoznak és támogatnak. Most sajnos más időket élünk, és mint sok más templomokban, Vasárnaponként üresek a padok, és aggódunk a megmaradásért. Máma nem aggódok, de máskor igen. Ezért mindenkit nagyon kérek, 
Jöjjetek a templomba, imádkozzunk és énekeljük, mint régen. Támogassátok rendezvényeinket, mert ha nem, akkor elveszítjük a hagyományunkat és a magyarságunkat. Szíveink és lelkismeretünk ezt nem engedheti meg, mert akkor az áldott mennyei lelkek nyugalma is elvesz. Mindenkit nagyon kérek, jöjjetek, tartsunk össze a megmaradásért, a hagyományunkért, templomunkért, magyarságunkért. Isten adja, úgy legyen. I mean it. I'm so happy to see everybody. Really, my cup runneth over. You've made my day, and I believe in miracles. Now I would like us to do this to start to read the names of the new memory of our. First of all, I'd like to welcome everybody to the church. It's nice to see all the people, a lot of the kids who used to run around this church when their mothers and fathers were here, grandmothers, grandmothers. And it's nice to see that the grandmothers and grandfathers, mothers and fathers, still have the power to get you back to this church. <laughs> they, they make me happy. Anyway, a little bit of history. The boards at the back, the first one was made in 1984, and it was the brainchild of Dr. Oladar Komyati, and Mike Maraz made it possible. Thirty years later, he made the other board, because the first one was full. We have 170 people on those boards in 30 years, so we're losing them very fast. Pretty soon it'll be our turn to go. Anyway, I'd like to read the names that we remember today. I'll just read the names, not the dates. They make it a little shorter so we can go, all go down and make the, uh, eat the beautiful luncheon that Mike Maraz is preparing with his wife, Muncie, and Gizi, and a few other ones that have worked all day yesterday and today. So hopefully you all come down and enjoy first name on the board is Kish Daniel Batya, my wife's old uncle. And then there's Biro Yano. She was one of our oldest members of our church. He was 102 years old when he passed away. His wife, Biro Helen, was pretty close to it too. Then there's Dulai Blanka, Kovac Fudor, Roji Kaneni, Nadia Alexander, my coma, Demeter Rosalia, Kolar Ludwig, Laknad István, Kaskó Zoltán, Kovács Pál, Fábián Juhász Mary, Király Szász Magda, Pásztor Mihály, Király Krusinski Margit, Benyák Raymond, Szentner Ferenc, Fábián Hubai Júli, Balázsi Fábián Helen, Török Lajos, Ákos Balázs Szerina, Szenz James, Kovács Pálfi Lidia, Fabian Nagy Anna, Benyák Tóth Irma, Török Antal, Hau Keith, Szűcs Alexander, Cse János, Gorzo Andrew, Tooms Ronald Jr., Tooms Angela, Kollár Szeper Ida, Demeter Nyisztor Elizabeth, Bernát Julius Mike, Bernát Sulányi Peggy, Szaniszló András Család, Fabian Géza, Váradi Gyula, Poroszlai Rédi Etelka, idős Nagy József és idős Nagy Vámos Eszter. Thank you for listening to me. I'm glad we can all remember. Thank you. Please, people of God, please stand, right? And with your hand, I want you to in honor of uh, our beloved ones, family, brothers, and friends, and father. And we hit your hand to me. Bell, bell, bell.
activating him, and those scenarios are not created. 